Welcome. Today we embark on a philosophical journey, exploring a concept that resonates deeply with the human experience, optimistic absurdism. This idea, seemingly paradoxical, invites us to find hope in the chaos of existence. Imagine standing at the edge of a vast ocean, the waves crashing relentlessly. This ocean is life, beautiful yet chaotic, immense yet intimate. In its vastness, we often find ourselves questioning our purpose, our very existence. This is where our journey begins, in the heart of absurdism. Absurdism, a philosophy deeply rooted in our quest for meaning, confronts us with a stark reality, the human tendency to seek inherent value and meaning in life. In the chaos, there is a flicker of light, the light of optimism. Optimistic absurdism is not just a philosophical concept, it is a way of living, a lens through which we can view the world. It's about finding hope and joy despite the absurdity of our existence. As we navigate this video, we will explore the depths of absurdism, understand the role of chaos in our lives, and most importantly, learn how to cultivate an optimistic perspective. This journey is not just about intellectual understanding, it is a practical application. It's about learning, growing, and finding peace in the beautiful chaos of life. Let us dive into the world of optimistic absurdism, where every lesson is a step towards embracing the absurdity of our existence with a hopeful heart. Absurdism at its core confronts us with the fundamental paradox of human existence. It is a philosophy that begins with a simple observation, our deep-seated desire to find meaning and order in life contrasts sharply with the universe's apparent indifference to our quest. Think about the moments when you've asked the big questions. Why are we here? What is the purpose of life? Absurdism suggests that these questions, while natural, are ultimately unanswerable. This realization can be unsettling, even disorientating. Yes, it is in this realization that the seeds of a profound understanding are sown. Let's turn to Albert Camus, a name synonymous with absurdism. Camus famously used the myth of Sisyphus to illustrate his philosophy. Sisyphus condemned to roll a boulder up a hill only for it to roll back down each time, embodies the human condition. A relentless pursuit of meaning in a universe that offers none is our boulder. But here's where Camus introduces the twist. He suggests that Sisyphus, aware of his plight, can still find contentment. This acceptance of the absurdity of life and the decision to continue despite, despite it at the heart of absurdism. This philosophy isn't about despair. It's about recognizing the limits of our human understanding and finding a way to live within them. It's about acknowledging the chaos and still choosing to seek moments of happiness, connection and understanding. The leap from recognizing the absurdity of life to embracing optimism may seem vast, but it is a journey filled with profound possibilities. Optimism in the face of absurdity is not naively ignoring life's complexities. It's about choosing a hopeful perspective despite them. Let's first understand what optimism truly means in this context. It's not a blind belief that everything will turn out well, but rather a mindset that encourages us to find meaning and value in our experiences, regardless of the nature. It's about seeing the potential for growth and learning in both the joys and challenges of life. Psychologists and philosophers alike have delved into this idea. They suggest that optimism is not just a trait but a skill that can be developed. It involves reframing our thinking, cultivating gratitude and embracing a sense of agency in our lives. But how do we make this shift? It starts with acceptance. Accepting the absurdity of existence means acknowledging that some questions have no answers and some situations have no clear meanings. This acceptance frees us from the relentless search for order and chaos, allowing us to focus on creating our own meaning. From there, we can begin to cultivate, op 
optimism by focusing on what we can control, our actions, our attitude and our responses. It's about finding joy in small moments, learning from our experiences and seeing setbacks as opportunities for growth. Incorporating practices like mindfulness, reflective thinking and intentional positivity can significantly aid in this transition. These practices help us to stay grounded and maintain a hopeful outlook, even when faced with the inherent uncertainties of life. Optimism in the context of absurdism is a powerful tool. It's a way of affirming life's value despite its unpredictability and inherent challenges. It's about choosing to live fully and meaningfully even when faced with the absurd. Viktor Frankl, an Austrian psychiatrist and Holocaust survivor, stands as a monumental figure in illustrating the principles of optimistic absurdism. His experiences and the psychological insights he derived from the profound lessons in finding hope amidst the chaos of existence. Frankl's most influential work, Man's Search for Meaning, delves into his experiences in Nazi concentration camps. Here, Frankl observed that those who could find meaning in their suffering were more resilient and more likely to survive. This observation led him to develop logotherapy, a form of psychotherapy that emphasizes the human search for meaning as the central motivational force in life. Frankl's philosophy is grounded in the belief that even in the most absurd, painful and dehumanizing conditions, life has potential meaning and therefore even suffering is an opportunity to find that meaning. His famous quote, those who have a why to live can bear with almost any how, encapsulates this belief. From Frankl's life and work, we can extract several key lessons in optimistic absurdism. Frankl's experiences teach us that even in the most dire situations, we have the ability to find meaning. This search for meaning provides us with strength to continue. One of Frankl's key insights was that we have ultimate control and freedom to choose our attitude towards our circumstances, even in situations where we have little control over our external environment, our internal attitude remains our own. Frankl often emphasized the importance of having a future oriented perspective. He observed those who had something to look forward to, a goal, a loved one to reunite with, were more likely to survive the horrors of the camps. Logotherapy focuses on the belief that our primary drive is not pleasure, as Freud had suggested, but the pursuit of what we find meaningful, this shift in perspective encourages us to actively seek and define our purpose. Frankl's philosophy encourages us to embrace life's challenges, including suffering and pain, as opportunities to find deeper meaning and to grow. Frankl's approach to life's absurdities and challenges provides us with a powerful framework for applying the principle of optimistic absurdism in our own lives. His teaching encourages us to seek meaning in all circumstances, to choose our attitudes and to pursue our purposes with resilience and hope. Embracing optimistic absurdism in everyday life involves a conscious effort to balance the recognition of life's inherent absurdity with an optimistic outlook. It's about finding meaning, joy and purpose in the midst of life's unpredictable nature. Here are some practical ways to integrate this philosophy into your daily living. Start by recognizing the absurd. This could be the unpredictability of events, the unanswerable questions or the paradoxes that we encounter. Acknowledging these elements helps in understanding our place in the world and sets a stage for a realistic yet hopeful approach to life. Like Viktor Frankl thought, we have the power to find meaning in every aspect of our existence. This process involves reflecting on our own experiences, identifying lessons and understanding how these experiences contribute to our personal growth and life's narrative. 
one of the most empowering aspects of optimistic absurdism is the realization that we have the choice in how we respond to life's challenges. Practice choosing attitudes and reactions that align with optimism and resilience. Having goals and aspirations provides direction and a sense of purpose. These goals don't have to be monumental. They can be as simple as daily or weekly objectives. What matters is that they provide a sense of progress and accomplishment. In a world full of chaos, being flexible and adaptable is key. This means being open to change, adjusting our plans when necessary, and being willing to pivot in new directions when faced with obstacles. Optimistic absurdism teaches us to find happiness, not just in grand achievements, but in everyday moments. Cultivate an appreciation for the simple pleasures of life. A conversation with a friend, a beautiful sunset, or even a good book. Surround yourself with people who share a similarly optimistic outlook. Community and relationships provide support, perspective, and a sense of belonging, all of which are vital in navigating life's absurdities. Regularly practicing gratitude can shift our focus from what is lacking or chaotic to what is a positive and enriching in our lives, keeping a gratitude journal or simply reflecting on things you are thankful for each day can be a powerful practice. Life is a continuous journey of learning and discovery. Engaging in new experiences, reading and exploring different viewpoints can help in understanding the complexities of life and finding personal meaning in them. As we come to the end of this journey, exploring optimistic absurdism, let's take a moment to reflect on the profound insights and lessons that we've gathered. We started by delving into the concept of absurdism, understanding that life is inherently unpredictable and often lacks clear-cut meaning. We then transition into the realm of optimism, learning how to find hope and purpose in this seemingly chaos universe. The key takeaway from our exploration is the empowering realization that while we may not have control over the external absurdities of life, we do have control over our internal responses. The shift in perspective is at the heart of optimistic absurdism. It's about choosing to find meaning, embracing the absurdity of our existence, and maintaining a hopeful outlook. We've learned from Viktor Frankl that even in the most challenging circumstances, we have the ability to find meaning and purpose. His life and work reminds us that our attitude and approach to life's challenges can define our experiences. Applying optimistic absurdism in our daily lives involves recognizing the absurd, finding meaning, setting purposeful goals, embracing flexibility, and finding joy in small moments, nurturing supportive relationships, practicing gratitude, and engaging in continuous learning. These practices enable us to live a balanced, fulfilling life, even amidst the chaos. As we conclude, Remember that life's absurdities are not an obstacle to our happiness, but are part of the beautiful tapestry of existence. They challenge us to grow, to think deeply and to live fully. Optimistic absurdism isn't just a philosophical concept. It is a practical approach to life that empowers us to find hope in the chaos and to create our own meaning in the universe's vastness.